Hey, welcome to the No Money Real Estate Show. I'm Ken Dunn, your host, and I'm really excited to spend time with you each and every week and help you to understand how to build a massive real estate portfolio. Hey, my name's Ken Dunn, and I'm a real estate investor. I want to welcome you to the No Money Real Estate Podcast. On this show, I'm going to interview elite-level real estate investors from all over North America, and I'm going to help you to see one thing that all successful real estate investors have in common. They built their portfolios without using a dime of their own money. I've got a portfolio of $300 million in real estate. That includes resorts, apartment buildings, commercial buildings, and I built the entire portfolio without using a dime of my own money. Real estate is a business that anybody can get into, but the strategies that those Titan real estate investors use to build massive portfolios have been kept secret for decades. Now, because of this show, I'm gonna reveal them to you. So let's get started. Hey, this is episode number one, and I'm really excited. I'm just gonna spend some time with you today and talk about raising money in real estate and how I do it and what inspired me to launch this crazy podcast show. And I really am doing this to get you to subscribe to the show, whether you're watching it on YouTube or you're listening to it on your favorite podcast channel, whichever way you're doing it, I want you to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the show, leave us a review. And in turn, I'm going to make the real estate game really easy for you. So a couple of years ago, I started teaching people how I was making millions of dollars a year with my own real estate portfolio. And I launched a couple of programs. I, I teach Canadians how to buy houses for their families with no money. I teach real estate investors how to get into the short-term rental space. And in both of those tribes, as those tribes are growing, the number one thing that I get asked all the time is how do you raise money? It never occurred to me that the biggest hangup that new real estate investors have and actually Actually, even some experienced real estate investors, the biggest hang up that they have is not finding properties. It's not knowing how to do renovations. It's raising money to get deals done. If you've ever been on Facebook in a real estate group of any sort, you've seen the posts. Uh, and let me just explain what I mean by that. I, I can't tell you how many times I've been in these Facebook groups and I see posts where somebody is in a panic and they're saying, I've got this property, it's closing in five days. I need a JV partner. I need somebody that's got money. I need somebody that can help me. I need help. And I see it happening so much. And then when I started launching my real estate coaching programs, the number one question that I would get by people that are in our communities is how do you raise money? And when I started thinking about how I raised money, I have a portfolio that's hundreds of millions of dollars. We've got cottage resorts growing across Canada. We have short-term rental properties. We've got apartment buildings. We've got commercial properties. And I've never used a dime of my own money to do it. And Every time I would start, I would talk about raising money, my students, my people that I'm coaching, they would be fascinated by it. They would start listening very closely and want me to get into more details about this. And so I thought a podcast was the right thing to do to specifically talk about raising money because it's the number one that every successful real estate investor has in common. If you think about anybody that you follow in the real estate game right now, whether it's the guy at the top of the hill, Grant Cardone with his billion dollar portfolio, or my friends Mel and Dave in Canada, who are two of the top multifamily people in this entire country, or people like Simon Yan, who's into condo flipping, all these incredible experts, the number one thing that all successful real estate investors have in common is this they never use their own money. Now, I know as soon as you hear that, you're going to get overwhelmed by it and you'll be thinking, well, that that's fine. They've got a following. They, they can do that. Anybody can do that. But what if I told you it was really easy for anybody to do? If you decide to subscribe to this podcast and listen to every episode, you're not only going to hear everything I know about raising money, but you're also going to hear from the top experts in the world in the real estate space about how they raise money. But just to kind of give you a little bit of a flavor for some of the things that you're going to learn if you pay attention to the show, let me tell you some of the strategies I use for raising money. So if you start following the show, you're going to learn really quickly that I believe one of the most important things for you to do to, to raise all the money you want for any real estate deal is to build a following. Now, before you start rolling your eyes or you turn the show off, Pay attention to me. I know it's uncomfortable thinking about putting yourself out there and talking to other people and doing all this stuff. But let me tell you why that's important. In sales, there's an old saying, 
People will not buy from you unless they know you, like you, and trust you. And there's another thing in sales that has been said over and over and over again. It's an age-old adage. People are most likely to buy from you after six or seven exposures. If you think about anything you've ever bought, like I'm talking about a major decision you've made in purchasing, well, most often you take weeks or months to think about that purchase that you're going to make. You watch reviews, you watch YouTube videos, you listen to other people's opinions. Well, each one of those things you do where the idea of buying that thing is in your mind is called an exposure. And most people take six or seven exposures before they decide to buy. And that's exactly why anybody that's trying to raise a lot of money, if you want to build a big portfolio, you need to build a following. If you go check out any of my social media channels, in fact, because this is the first episode in the podcast, in the notes for the show, I'm going to give you the link to my Facebook page my Instagram account, my TikTok account, my YouTube channel. I want you to subscribe to all of those channels and start following me because I've raised millions of dollars just on my social media pages. If you go over to Facebook right now and check out my Facebook page, I have 9,100 investors that follow me on that page. And if you scroll through the feed, you're going to find several posts that I've made where I've raised millions of dollars. In fact, start scrolling through the feed and you'll see a post, it's just a picture of a happy face. And in the comments, I say, I'm about to buy a company and I've got room for 15 people to get involved in this with me. Each one of the people that get involved is expected to make 300 to 400 times their investment. If you'd like more information, let me know. And literally of those 9,100 people, over 150 people said, I want more info. I'd send them a private message, explain what the deal was about. And I raised $3.5 million in 37 minutes just from my social media page. If you follow me in this podcast show and stick with me and become a lover of this podcast, you're going to learn exactly how to do that. And then for bigger deals, I've raised $30 million in the last three years for resorts that I'm building. And all I do to get those resort, the funding for those resorts figured out is I build a lender's package. So a lender's package is a series of documents. It's in a package that's got a business plan. It's got all the supporting documents. It's got um, financial statements. I mean, everything you could possibly need. And then once I have that put together, then I host a webinar, I run ads to the webinar, I get on the webinar and I explain what the whole opportunity is about. And then at the end of the 30 minute presentation, I say, if you'd like to talk to me personally about investing in this project, click on the link. When they click on the link, it actually sends them to a survey that they have to answer some questions for me so I know they're legit. Then I let them book an appointment on my calendar. And then after they book an appointment on my calendar, I literally um, send them the lender's package. Once they book the appointment, I have somebody on my team that it's it's called an appointment setter or appointment confirmation specialist, what we call them. But essentially, I have somebody on my team, a virtual assistant that I pay a couple hundred bucks a month to that calls them every day and answers their questions and gets them excited about talking to me. So that means because they do that, 90% of the people who fill out that form actually show up for the appointment and I close 70% of them. Why is that happening though? How am I able to raise money from a single post on a Facebook page or from a really simple process where I do a presentation and I sign people up? It's because I built a massive following. Across all the social media channels, I've got over a million investors in Canada, just in Canada, that are following me right now. And because I'm teaching so openly and I'm sharing all this information with them, that builds trust. They know what I'm talking about. So what I encourage everybody in my coaching program to do, listen, I have this program, it's called The Syndicate, and there's literally hundreds of in real estate investors in it. They've all joined this mastermind group with me because I teach them the details of how I fundraise inside of the syndicate program. But one of the things I help them to understand really right away is when you're creating content regularly on social media, just like I'm doing with you right now, it's going to help people that are watching the content to build trust in you. Now, what a lot of people don't realize about social media is the algorithms that all these social media platforms are built on. 
For folks that have heard the term algorithm before, but you really don't know what it means, I'm gonna explain it really simply. It's all computer code. See, when social media platforms were built, they started making so much computer code, which are the lines of code that tell the, the platform what to do in reaction to anything anybody else does, right? So as an example, a piece of code on Facebook might say when somebody does a post, if they hit the submit button, display it live on the page. That's actually written code that does that. Well, you can write so much code that it knows the answer to anything anybody can do, and then it can start to become intuitive. That's when an algorithm is born. So the algorithms on all the social media channels, what they actually say is this. If somebody does a post and they do a specific tag in that post and they do them regularly, if we see they're being very consistent, they're always tagging the same post, then we want you to show that post to more people. That's how social media experts and influencers build their following. They take advantage of the algorithm. So I teach real estate investors that if you're posting content regularly, your following is going to grow. And if you use hashtags like real estate investing or real estate or multifamily or whatever it is specific to the type of real estate you do, then you're going to get real estate investors that will start following you more. So it's really simple. I start posting a lot of content on social media and I follow this very specific strategy on posting regularly. I build trust with the platform. The platform shows the content to more people. They follow me. They watch more of my content. They start to like me more. They realize after watching the content that I really know what I'm talking about. And then when I put that simple little happy face on my page, hundreds of people want to invest in my projects. Or when I run an ad and say, come to this meeting and I'll explain about this specific project, hundreds of people show up. Friends, anybody that's in real estate investing that isn't building a following, you're going to struggle. Hey, listen, I, I, as we go through this podcast show together, uh, I'm going to be talking a lot about the syndicate. Uh, inside of our mastermind group, we have hundreds and hundreds of real estate investors. Some of these guys have $100 million portfolios and they have funds. Other people are just getting started. Um, so I would be remiss if I didn't give you the link to check out what the syndicate is all about. If you're a real estate investor or you wanna get into real estate investing and you're just getting started and you're not quite sure what the first step is for you or you realize the thing that's holding you back from really scaling your real estate business is raising money, then go down to the link in the show's notes that says learn about the syndicate and it will actually take you to a video presentation I did where I explain what the whole syndicate program is about. And if you like what you hear, you can book an appointment to talk privately to me and I can help you to get all your questions answered and see if the syndicate's a right fit for you. Anyway, let's talk more about raising money. Friends, if you figure out the strategies that you need to build a massive real estate business to raise money, you can build as big a business as you want. I'm, I think about what's happening in my life right now, the team that I have, and, and I realize that everything I have today in real estate and in all my businesses, it happened because I know how to raise money. And that's what I promise you. If you decide to subscribe to this show, you're going to figure out exactly what you need to do. Now, just to give you one more teaser before we're finished today, I want to walk you through a couple simple steps. This is what I teach to everybody in the syndicate and I want to give it to you for free right now. If you want to raise hundreds of millions of dollars for your deals, there's just four steps you have to follow. Number one, you got to build a platform and that's the social media stuff I was talking about now. Just get serious about it. Get on all the platforms, all the social media channels where your real estate investors are and start producing content. Number two, you got to find a legitimate offer. In real estate, if you talk to any of the biggest names in the game, they're all going to say the same thing. When they're looking at potential deals that they want to do, they look for undervalued deals. And that's the secret in real estate investing when it comes to acquisition, to finding the properties you want to buy. You need to find properties that are undervalued. And there's lots of ways to do that. You can just look at real estate listings. You can actually go and look at foreclosed properties through your townships in your cities. You can work with wholesalers that will go out and contact 
uh, property owners directly and find you deals off market. You hear that term a lot, but you got to find an off market undervalued deal. The third step is you got to put a package together. You're going to hear me talking a lot in this podcast about the actual package. The quality of the information you provide up front should answer all of the questions. If you think about the story I told you just a little bit earlier about how I raised the big money for the resorts, I'm building a following. They're getting to know me. Then I make the offer for them to come to a presentation and learn about a specific investment vehicle to invest in. Once they're there, I give them all the details of the project and they're very, very methodically set up to make it work. And I include stories in everything that I do. I tell stories because that's the way people like to hear information. That's how you get into their emotions because it's emotional decision to buy. And then finally, you got to be able to close the deal. You got to ask for the money. And when I think about that part, that's probably the part that I'm the best at and that I've mastered the most. And because I really want you to become a subscriber to this podcast, I'm going to tell you just a little bit more about my background. I spent 15 years in investigative policing. Seven of those years, I was a police interrogator. I literally studied police interrogation with the guy who got Ted Bundy to confess to his murders in Florida back in the 80s. And in all that time I was in police interrogation, the way we got somebody to confess to a crime, it was really simple. We'd start off by building a relationship with them. So we'd build rapport with them. And my whole goal, it didn't matter if the guy committed a murder, he abused a spouse, whatever it was. Well, it did matter. Those guys were going to jail. There's no way they were ever getting around me. I did 18 major crime interrogations and 17 of them confessed to the crimes and went to jail. But it did, doesn't matter what type of crime it is, the plan works the same way. I'm going to spend the first phase of my time with them building trust. So I'm going to ask them open-ended questions. I'm going to have dialogue with them, and I'm not going to talk about the crime at all. And then eventually, this might take three or four hours of talking, but I'm going to do it. Eventually, we're going to get to the point where I can tell the conversation's getting easier. It's two-sided. They're involved in the conversation and everything. Then I redirect them back to what I want them to confess to. And because I've taken the time to build that relationship and that trust with them, they confess. Now, I took those same skills that I learned in interrogation and I, I used them in raising money. So what I want to do is I want to build a funnel. Now, I'm not talking about a specific platform. This That's not a click funnels pitch or anything like that. But a funnel is an, is an automated sequential way of moving people through information that's designed in a way that's going to get the result you're looking for. They're going to say yes to raising money. And in that last stage, if you've done this right, you've built trust in the early stages. You've delivered the information to them. You give them the lender's package. I have one of my staff that answers all the questions before they show up that time with me. Then I focus on building the relationship and doing the ask. And in that conversation I'm having with them, I can handle any objection I need because they already have the base of the information. And friends, those are those four steps. Now, during the podcast, what I'm going to do, what you're going to see if you subscribe to this show is every week I'm going to have a new guest on. I'm going to use my influence to go find the biggest real estate investors in North America and have them on the show as guests and interview them about raising money. And you're going to see in, in spite of whatever they're doing, it doesn't matter what type of real estate investing in, you're going to see that we all raise money from other people. That's the way the game is played at the highest level. And so you're going to have, you're going to see some of the biggest names in real estate on this show every week. And then in addition to that, every once in a while, I'll do a show just like this where I drop in, we talk about a specific issue and that's all there is to it. Hey, if you're watching the show on YouTube and you have any questions based on anything you heard in the show today, just go into the comments. I'll be here every day answering your questions and, and staying engaged with you. Lastly, if you want more help raising money, if you want to learn more about the strategies that I use, or you want to help, you want to make the, the fundraising game really easy for yourself, then click on that link in the, in the notes below. It says, learn more about the syndicate. Go watch that 40 minute video that I created and you'll know as much as I do. And just remember what I said. If after you watch that video, you want to book a call and talk to me about joining the syndicate, you've got that option there for you. 
Hey, thanks for joining me here on the show and we'll see you again real soon.